Hello everyone, this is Gorax. In today's video, I'll show you how to make Nissa work. I'll show you a way to improve damage on your team when you're using Nissa, a hero that everyone was saying is rather weak. Okay, so while Perkunta is the shining star hero, Find a way to make Nissa work. She can finally do more damage than she is usually doing, and I find a reason for that. If we look at her ultimate, we can see that she targets an enemy and instruct the mechanical creature to follow the target and initiate an electronic field that lasts for 10 seconds. When enemies within range are inflicted with electrocuted, during this period, the mechanical creature will deal 120 directive lightning damage to them and triggers Thunderbolt two times. So I didn't quite understand that first, but I've noticed that she casts it only on the boss instead of the ads in the AOE format. Uh, so this works like Flora's ultimate. We apply this and every time electrocuted procs, we will trigger two Thunderbolts and they will accumulate her damage but her damage again is not important this this ultimate on the ads help our Perkunte passive overwhelm to basically get up to 30 stacks instantly and i'll show you that in fight but first let's go over the equipment this team used this is not a free to play friendly team this is for those of you who have these heroes and are wondering how to make it work and nissa is quite crucial here so first things first, I'm not using a dedicated healer. I'm using um, Adolphus, sorry, um, Nathaniel, my newest addition to shield, as well as provide us with recovery over time. Uh, we want to keep our heroes alive. Uh, we have another hero, Ehu Cattle. So uh, she is here to give us defense up two, plus a little bit of healing if they fall below 50%. Uh, On top of that, she also... Uh, grants a shield wherever, whenever an uh, ally casts an ultimate. Very handy. Uh, keep us alive uh, in between the rotation. Um, we have Shy Nakten, with, which is remain. As long as he only applies it once, we have this 20% um, attack increase. Because the boss gets gives us a 10, the boss takes 10% damage increase per debuff applied to him in the fight. So we have electrocuted, plus we have uh, which is remain defense down. Uh, if you don't have which is remain, you can obviously run around. But I think if you have this team, you definitely have which is remain. Uh, she can't apply it. Okay, this does not apply any debuffs like crown or which is remain. So we're using her with downpipe organ and serial set. Okay, so yeah, we want this uh, damage basically uh, to be increased by a team. So she also buffs Perkunte with. Pipes. And Perkunte, as I said, I was fortunate enough to have Perkunte as my first and only exclusive with a dupe. So I have his artifact, and this dude is just amazing. Um, I mean, set wise, I would not advise going for um, inventors here because we are delaying our ultimate. So it's very hard to keep the stacks, but my other sets are not that good. So this is why I'm using it. Because set wise, we want 100% crit rate with huge crit damage. Uh, stats here, we want accuracy. This is obviously an overkill here, uh, but it's okay. And we want accuracy here as well. Again, overkill, um, just, just the stats basically. And uh, we only need 230 accuracy, right? 230, you can boost their damage, but both of them are not here to do that damage. It's to boost Perkunta's damage, plus do at least 15 million each so he can do the rest. And I'll show you what I mean by um, this team, by, by how to play Nissa, because this, this, this is a big difference. And then I'll let you play the fight. So as you can see, he spawns the orbs, yeah? And Nissa usually casts it on the boss, just the boss, but we want this to happen on all the orbs and the boss. So we do that. We don't really care about uh, anything else. And then look at this, when he does that, Rakunta uses his ultimate. He lost his overwhelm stacks and look at how fast they go. It's back to 30 again instantly. 
and I'll tell you why. Uh, so when we go to the next rotation, we have in this two debuffs now, right? So uh, the boss is taking 20% increased damage, and look, she's out damaging Shane Acton. She'll eventually fall. Um, he will out damage her, but that's that's the idea here. So we got them again. We can wait for this debuff, but she's not dealing any damage, right? So there's two ways. You can wait for this debuff to appear and just push it, and she doesn't do any damage. Now Shane Acton applies Thunderbolt. And every time this electrocuted procs, we are doing this um, amazing derivative damage. You can see these numbers that are not crits. That's her damage. That's her damage. And this is how she works. And it is amazing. Now, let's put it on auto. And I, I'll show you the difference. All right. So even if you put it on auto, you want her to cast before... Yeah, there we go. You want to cast that before Shane Acton's ultimate. So that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to put it like this, and you'll see the difference. Look at how she cast it on auto. Yeah, she targets only boss. Only boss is getting that. So see all these triggers? They will only trigger the boss's damage. As you can see, so much less. Look at this, just electrocuted. Her ultimate didn't proc, and look at the damage. And this is the huge difference, and this is how you make Nissa work. She might not be the best damage dealer, but at least she will do damage similar to Shine Acton. Now, let's play the whole fight for you. With the
hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please click the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. As always, thank you for watching. Stay safe. Bye.